security operatives have been deployed in Ama Ausa, a settlement dominated by Northerners in Oweri, Imo State capital. This is as a result of the widespread attacks on some Northerners in the southeast. Last week, seven traders of Northern extraction were murdered in Olu Town and Umwaka in Jaba, local government area of Imo State. On Friday, senior special assistant to Governor Hopu Zodima on gender and vulnerable persons. Suleiman Ibrahim Suleiman told Daily Trust that adequate security had been provided to prevent further attacks. Suleiman, who is also the Gakwa Hausa Shield of Hausa community, said the people have been sensitized on the need to live in peace with their neighbors. He said the people are not contemplating to carry out reprisal, especially on the recent killing of seven traders as they have taken it as an act of God. We have taken everything as the will of Allah. To him we come and to him we shall return. Some of us have been here for decades. Even our grandparents were here over 150 years ago. So we see uh, ourselves as indigenous of the state. We see ourselves as the indigenous of the state. And so there is no need to fight to create recriminations between us, he said. Suleiman advised those in the north threatening attack on evil interests in the north not to play into the hands of politicians who are not happy when there is peace in the country. Mm -hmm. When there is peace in the country, you can imagine. Mm. Nobody should kill an innocent person because of race or religion. Killing innocent northerners in Imo State should be condemned by all men of goodwill. Hmm. You are right, but some people seem to celebrate it. I wonder what did uh, a poor Suya man got to do with agitation of Biafra. Poor people that leave the north to south, southeast to help themselves and their family. Very bad indeed for those killed and celebrate their killings won't change anything for the for their agitation. Hmm. Nobody in his right senses will celebrate the killing of his fellow being. However, the cluelessness of Buari inept government led us here. We have been living together peacefully in this country until Buari became president and Fulani jihadists took over Nigeria killing and maiming people all over the country while the government turned a blind eye. They show gross partisan and display the ethnic sentiment in dealing with the issue until people get tired and resort to protect themselves. And that is exactly what has been happening up to today. Did they do anything? <laughs> Did they do anything? No. Just like when a, a governor of Undo State, Akiri Dolu, when he gave ultimatum seven days that these people should leave the forest, let them go and register. Because of this, because of this, because of insecurity, uh, because of security information, the gods and a lot of things, and they were able to find out that the forest, they use that forest as an avenue to commit their atrocities based on intelligence gathering. And what did the federal government did? The next thing, they turned everything upside down. That nobody has the right to tell anybody to leave. They said, leave the come and register. In the with the government, so that we know who are who yeah, in the states. The a, a, the presidency turned everything upside down. Before you know, all the governors from the north and everybody started throwing this in. But the main issue, they threw the main issue outside the outside, outside the whole thing and began to look for something to nail the people. What does that say? One, a situation whereby every every community, every village, the Pulani are there committing the same atrocities. Have they have they been arrested? No. Have they ever come out to talk tough on them? No. But when it is IPOP, when it is Eldudua looking for how to arrest a Sunday Bowl, oh, they will be talking tough. The northern elders will come out and be saying, go and arrest a go, go and arrest a Namdekano, arrest a IPOP members, get them arrested, crush them, this and that. But bandits in their area, they don't talk about crushing them. But all they are doing, they are waiting for Gumi as he's leading the way to negotiate, to give them a juicy package, to do this, to do that. They are, they are quiet. They are quiet. What does that tell you? And the so-called presidency will be supporting them. And you expect people to fold their hands. People are being killed every day. 
no the government is not doing anything about it and when there's reprisal oh my god they started coming out they will not want to blame you that you are not trying to defend yourself the blame will not come on you then they will not begin to there will, there will be sentiments here and there that is what we get up to today the man does not even know what is happening he doesn't know what is happening at all hmm. well a fulani settlement not house even in the north more intention more attention is being given to the igbos and yorubas dominated to dominated areas in case of any mayhem intended by the indigenous it's a normal thing but you are sounding tribalistic but if we want to look at it the igbo people have been crying this and that why is it that this uh, selective uh, is what we don't get selective protection selective uh, appointment selective this it is what is killing this country especially buari make it it's like it's, he wants to make it a national thing this uh, nepotism he wants to make it a national thing and the more people complain the more some people try to see it from a different perspective from those who are trying to say oh buari is nepotistic in nature the more the buari himself proves the people who are calling him all, more, all manner of names be, the more he continues to prove them right he continues to prove them right and it, at, at this stage he does not care he does not care himself and the cabas and all of them you know gabashi is the presidency as we speak now so a situation whereby you you you, you pamper some people you leave some people, people are seen so, no, well, even a child even even children even if you do that kind of a thing among children definitely definitely they will know they will definitely know and and and, and speak to you that oh daddy you don't love me oh mommy you love this person they will tell you no talk of it you are dealing with a uh, mature people and you think they they will look the other way it does not happen and the reason why the government is doing this is a deliberate act that whatever you people want to do go and do it go and do it Oh my goodness no wonder the the, the family is even scattered and he does he wants to keep nigeria he can't keep nigeria see all of them all over the place wife will be here this one will be here talking everybody just talking uh what he what he likes or what she likes so that is what is bringing all this problem then what of the daily killings of the eagles by the northerners who secured them why not send security again to protect the houses in meduguri yobe zamfara castina kaduna and so on so the lives of people of ibarakpa igogo in oyo don't matter lives of people in okugu in ogun states don't matter you falsely playing the victim's card the northerners are mainly responsible for the security insecurity we experience all over nigeria today anywhere they are they create violence because it is in their blood huh. good talk my brother god will continue to bless you with more wisdom you are worthy uh yeah a worthy brother mm. finish them if you want to have peace so guys uh, let's hear your opinion on this thank you